We got him the help that he was willing to get, but it wasn't enough. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, uh, January 2nd, 2020, Sam also died of suicide. Having the difficult conversations around teenage mental health and suicide. A new podcast from the Anoka Hennepin School District tackles some weighty subject matters. And they're doing it with the help of a mother who's experienced this tragedy of losing her son. Here's our Paul Bloom. When they stop doing things that they normally love doing, such as sports or band or theater, and they just don't want to do it anymore. Something's up, you know, check in on them. For two years now, Janet Casperson has not been afraid to speak out about teenage mental health and specifically suicide. So I, I kind of call him the silent struggler, you know. He, I would try to talk to him and he's like, no, I'm a good mom. It was January 2020 when her son Sam, 16, took his own life. One of several suicides at the time to rip through the Blaine community and the Anoka Hennepin School District. This week, that district the state's largest, released a new podcast through its Parent Engage 360 program. Asking directly, hey, are you, have you ever thought about suicide? Are you thinking about harming yourself? I'm here to listen. I want to support you. Um, and leaning right into that. The superintendent telling Fox 9 that it is designed to help families open up and talk about what can be extremely sensitive subject matter, like a struggling child, particularly under the weight of an unrelenting pandemic. They're ashamed or concerned about the situation they might be in their house. And the, the idea that other people are out there normalizes it. We need to let parents know this is real. It's in our community. And, and you're not a bad person if you're dealing with this in your house. Casperson is so grateful the district is confronting these issues after feeling so alone after Sam died by suicide. The mother of three promising that she will continue to fight for more mental health resources, both inside and outside the schools, to make sure no other family is tormented by the pain, the anguish, and the question, could we have done more? Keeping an open line of communication, that is huge. Um, and make sure you just, you know, tell them it's okay to not be okay at some point. You know, we all have our daily struggles, and you're going to get through it. Paul Bloom, Fox 9. If you or someone you know is struggling, help is always available. The number for the National Suicide Lifeline is on your screen right now. It's 800-273-8255. Well, the